Data literacy is an absolute must for anyone who wants to be successful in today's business world. When we say that someone is data literate, this means they have the necessary competencies to work with data. In a way, they're able to articulate a problem that can be potentially solved using data. So, we can define data literacy as the ability to read, understand, create, and communicate data as information. All right. One of my favorite analogies is with wine connoisseurs. Typically, a seasoned wine connoisseur can assess a wine and analyze it for what it is without much bias. To be able to do that, they go through formal training to educate themselves on the intricacies of wine. Throughout the process, they learn about tangent subjects such as chemistry, geology, geography, history, and winemaking. In the end, however, they don't become winemakers themselves. The same goes for data consumers. They require some basic education about how to use data to answer common questions. For example, they need to know about different fields, such as mathematics, statistics, and a bit of machine learning. However, they don't necessarily have to go through comprehensive data science training. Instead, data consumers must be data literate. They need to know more concise but still relevant training that would allow them to work with data. We would expect that someone who is data literate would have the ability to articulate a problem that can potentially be solved using data, understand the data sources used, check the adequacy and fitness of data involved, interpret the results of an analysis and extract insights, make decisions based on the insights, and of course explain the value generated with a use case. There's an additional point we should bear in mind. In practice, not everyone needs to work with data in a hands-on fashion. For many, it will be enough to read and interpret the analyses and visuals produced by others. However, it is still important to be able to have productive conversations about data to grasp and exploit its potential. In case you don't have the technical skills, you might still need to be able to provide the right instructions to the data experts executing the work. Hence, you should be familiar with what resources are required to carry out a specific type of analysis. As you can see, data literacy is more than just using tools, designing dashboards, producing tables, and crunching numbers. Above all, it is about communication and information seeking. All right. And so, some of the most important questions a data literate person should be able to answer are, how do we store data? Which are the systems we use to do that? Are the data complete and clean enough to support a correct decision? What are the main characteristics of a data set? What methodology was applied to analyze the data? How reliable is the result of an analysis or forecast? If you're a data literate person, you should have an idea about each of these aspects. This doesn't necessarily mean you have to know the specifics of carrying out the technical work on your own. Still, you should be knowledgeable enough to understand the architecture of the whole process. With the ever-increasing amount of data collected by firms and organizations around the world, the concept of data literacy continues to grow in popularity and has been very fashionable these days. Well, our actions in different social settings generate an abundance of data. Customers leave their digital footprints when engaging with products and brands, such as website clicks, app registration, mobile devices, e-commerce purchases, social media behavior, and even physical store visits. Patients' data are collected by physicians during the treatment of their conditions. Besides, video data continue to be collected by CCTV and physical stores. Even cars are on the verge of becoming autonomous thanks to the huge amount of data analyzed by automotive firms and the advancements of machine and deep learning. In this context, many people feel overwhelmed with the flood of information and do not know how to deal with the increasing supply of data. From a company's perspective, an organization should be able to take advantage of these data. Similar to speaking the same language, team members must have a basic common understanding of the subject. So, if language was a vehicle of culture, data literacy would be a precondition for a data culture to emerge or develop. 
Hence, one needs to fully understand the corporate environment and then learn how to describe it and possibly shape it. Okay. The way an organization defines its commitment to data internally determines how important or urgent their need for data literacy is. Actually, the appropriate use of data among employees can be greatly beneficial for organizations. Indeed, it can improve customer understanding, contribute to faster decision making, enhance the accuracy of predictions, help in process optimization, reduce risks and costs, and even boost productivity. All of this translates into better service for various stakeholders, including customers, suppliers, and patients. Excellent! Here are some interesting facts for you to consider. A 2018 survey called Lead with Data, How to Drive Data Literacy in the Enterprise by the software vendor Click showed that 24% of business decision makers share that they are fully confident in their own data literacy. In addition, 32% of senior leaders are viewed by other people in their organization as data literate. And only 21% of individuals aged 16 to 24 are actually data literate. Without a doubt, the benefits of being data literate are insurmountable. 94% of the respondents using data in their current role recognize that data help them do their jobs better, and 82% of respondents believe that greater data literacy gives them stronger professional credibility. So, we can conclude that, although enterprise-wide data literacy is considered important, the number of professionals who have solid data literacy is still relatively low. All right. Another survey by Click conducted in 2020 indicated that data-driven organizations benefit from improved corporate performance, leading to an increased enterprise value of 3 to 5 percent. What's more, the results showed that only 32 percent of companies are able to realize tangible and measurable value from data. Interestingly, the percentage of employees in the global workforce who are fully confident in their data literacy skills is as low as 21 percent. That said, a considerable portion of employees, 74%, feel overwhelmed or unhappy when working with data. So, what do these numbers tell us? The survey demonstrated that employees who can be trusted as data literate were at least 50% more likely than data novices to say they feel empowered to make better decisions and trusted to make better decisions. And that sounds about right. Although companies increasingly expect employees to become self-sufficient when working with data and make data-driven decisions, many seem to have insufficient skills to benefit from data comfortably and confidently. But things are starting to change progressively. Data literacy is on the way to becoming a core competency in the future. As such, employees need to be flexible enough to adapt to the changing environment and employers of excellence will provide full support to facilitate that. As they say, information is power only if you can take action with it.